Day will punch two tickets to championship weekend. Penn hasn't been to the national semifinals in 34 years. Rutgers has never been there. Half field, I favor Penn. James Shipley beating Ben Smith, the hero last week. And the backup one by the Rutgers goalie, Colin Kirst. The fierce senior, a captain, and he was sensational last week in the win against Harvard. And he's got big game experience last year against North Carolina in this same round. Rutgers lost in overtime. Kirst was magnificent. In three career NCAA tournament games, Kirst has stopped two-thirds of his shot. We get the first save for Patrick Birkinshaw, who might be the hottest goalie in this tournament. At Duke right now, who played for Penn. Here comes Sam Hanley. And that one off the side of the net. Like a triceratops coming at you downhill. Hey, let's slow it down. Rutgers attacking from X. And that's another save by Birkinshaw. It'll reset the shot clock. The team recovers the ball. The shot clock re resets to 60 seconds. Feet in front, shot, and that is offline. B.J. Farrar near the end line as Penn will set up its clear. Here comes Bartolo, the former Penn Quaker. Bartolo's got a hammer and a save by Birkinshaw. That is four already for Patrick Birkinshaw. Well, you have a righty shooter in Gergar, and then you have the lefty shooter in Ruben. And a save by Kirst. That was Penn's first shot on goal. Missed the cage on their first six attempts. And now Rutgers will set up the clear. Big save by Kurth. You don't want to go man down against Penn. And he can lock down one of the Rutgers midfielders. And right now, Farrar playing close defense. Hanley beats his man, feeds the wing. The dart saved by Kurst. Kurst will eat that up all day long. That is too easy for the veteran in the cage. He and Ross Scott, who had the eight goals last week, their roommates with that big cup of joe, handcrafted every morning as Scott misses wide. Coffee's for closers, yes, right? It is for closers. You were hard on them yesterday when he told you he was, you know, drinking some brands that maybe were below your level. You, you kind of gave him a jab. I mean, he's a college kid. Well, I told him, I said, he, you know, the story was, hey, he likes the handcrafted coffee every morning. And I said, you know, explain to me how you do this. And... <laughs> Well, sometimes it's Duncan, sometimes it's Starbucks. He didn't say Folgers. <laughs> Gergar's been dangerous on the man up. 40 and white. Fires from the wing. Kirst reads it all the way. This pumping. When you're a goalie, you make those two big initial stare down type saves. The confidence. That team stays together forever. Here comes Gabe Fury. He's been electric down the stretch. Gergar trying to go five hole. And Kirst, another save. That's four. He's on. He's stopping him high, he's stopping him low. Both goalies are on. Yes. Colin Kirst, the Rutgers goalie. He is part of what's now become the first family of college lacrosse. Four saves in that first quarter for Kirst, who has been locked down in the postseason. He has, and if you watch his saves, they're high, they're low. The quick hand speed of 23 and black, and the family, you got three shooters, two goalies. Connors with the whip snakes, he played for Rutgers a season ago. How about Caden, the little guy, hanging from the middle, I love that. He's in the goal too. See Colin top right, who's making plays. In the bottom, CJ all he did last week was Seven goals against Ohio State. And don't forget about Cole as well. There's Connor Kirst. That is a big dude. And Mom Michelle, who, she's the best. We spoke to her yesterday. I just love her energy. She's always happy. She is the ultimate lacrosse mom. We were in the car. She gives you a call. We're out getting coffee. And she's talking about, hey, I got to figure out how to get from Long Island on Saturday to Columbus, Ohio on Sunday to go see CJ tomorrow when Cornell plays Delaware. Tracking a lot of miles. But right now, it's, it's all about Colin, the senior, his last season. Here we go. 
Bob Rochelle has been such a rock for that family. Their father, Kyle, a former Rutgers goalie, passed away when the kids were in high school. Talking to Colin yesterday, he said it, it means so much to him to play the same position that Dad did at the same program where Dad played. Here comes Gallagher, got a good look. Shot clock reset, Piper Bond out of the air. Somehow that is not a push with possession. From Ross Scott, I'm driving left-handed on the lefty Ferrar, making him play cross farm. Getting top side, but no angle. Number 34, Ryan Gallagher. Rutgers wins the faceoff, going all the way, not much on it. And there's Birkinshaw. That was an easy one. Six saves now for the MOP of the Ivy League tournament. Fury bouncing off one defender, breaks a double. Ben Smith, bounce shot, save, cursed. We've got two goalies right now that have taken the Super Soldier Serum. Our series' older brother, Gerard, was an outstanding Fogo at Penn State. Rutgers in transition. Danninger stuffed by Birkinshaw, the outlet to Joyce. And we'll be doing time. You see 54 and White. Let's see the head. Yeah, that's from behind, and it's high. It's a good call. Yes, these goalies are in the shooter's heads. Absolutely, because they've made saves high and low, so it's not like you haven't tested them in that one spot in the cage. First man-up opportunity for Rutgers. 42% on the seat. He gets it back from Fury. Handley looking to feed inside. Missed Gergar. Handley tumbles to the ground. Three. Crease feed isn't there. And it's picked off by Kirst. That push worked out for Rutgers. It's that simple. You went man down, you stopped him. Chance for Rutgers the other way. Stop them on man down. Sticks in the passing lane. Your goalie throws darts for outlets. Rutgers hits a transition. Makes Penn play. And the start. This high school, the Weddington Warriors, playing in a 4A state championship game today in the Raleigh area. And Shipley cranks, and there is Kirst. You ever see James, his younger brother? Save Birkinshaw. Cameron on the rebound. Denied. Birkinshaw stole one. Cameron stepped in the crease. It'll be Penn Ball. Cameron had time, right? He caught that rebound and had him. Birkinshaw one-on-one. -on -one. Didn't change his levels, though. Changed sides, but Birkinshaw's quick hands in reaction to stay up top. No dice for Cameron. Here's another look, left side of your screen. There's the initial rebound. Cameron gets it. Yeah, he leans with one shoulder to try to get Birkinshaw to commit to one pipe. Shot at the other, it didn't matter. Gergar, jump shot, nothing on it. The defense, too much. Physically speaking. There's a the matchup, Scott against Farrar. Farrar derails by the pit. Up top, shot, and it's saved by Birkinshaw. He held on to it. Avon had a great look. An acrobatic save by Birkinshaw. That's 11. Birkinshaw, the later stages of the season, has been staring down shooters in winning battles. And he's not a quiet goalie. Like a lot of goalies will sit on shots, little body movement. He flops and flares Ooh, did everywhere. That, did that wow. cross over the goal line? Now let's take one more look at that. It may have, but it's such a quick play for an official to make that call. Let's take another look at this, Anish. Makes the save. Now the ball's in the air. Oof. You know, it's hard to tell. Does it cross the plane? Does it cross the goal line? He played at the Brunswick School in Connecticut. He was the number one rated recruit in the country. And he went to play for the defending national champs. Transfers to Penn.
struggles a little bit his first year in 2020. There's been some ups and downs this season as well. But the last month, it's been on absolute shutdown mode. Patrick Birkinshaw. Fury, Shipley, and Handley, the starting midfield. Fury had a steam. Fire save! Cursed! Rebound loose. Cursed was down. And we get a loose ball push on Rutgers. That was a great look by Gabe Fury, who in a lot of ways is Sam Handley light. He's 6'5", and it's small compared to Sam Handley. That's how nuts it is. But that's what makes Penn so effective. They run their offense through the midfield, and their big guys come downhill. There's Shipley. There's another save by Curse. That's eight. Early in the third quarter, both goalies have combined for about 20 saves against the short stick Daninger. Help coming. Nothing there. Shot clock at 15. Shane Gregor steps into one. Nine saves for Kirst. And it's off a Kirst save that Rutgers begins its transition. But Franz Kowiak could not catch it clean with Ruben draped all over him. When you watch Colin Kirst on tape, he rarely lets in bad goals. Like, he is so steady in terms of his angles, his body positioning, and his calmness. And he's a big game goalie. Knoblock fires. Birkinshaw eats it up. A dozen saves now for Birkinshaw. Look at PJ go. Shipley over to Rubens. Side of the net. Kirst digs it out. There's the great outlet. Apgar. Deep. Lost to Yale in the quarters on a jack tie goal in overtime. Save Birkinshaw. Second half with the heat. Schultz out of the box. Fresh legs. Open look. Bedard save Kirst. Russo on the rebound. Tornado's out of trouble. That was a big time. Handley from the win. Beats Gene Felix, Sam Curse, rebound, Schultz whip in the crease, Rutgers ball. Day feels like summer. Yard sale, flea markets, and a tie game after three. Rutgers playing a lot of defense here. Handley barreling down, nearly lost it. Skip pass, good look here, Fury save, Curse, rebound, Penn. Now this has turned into what a two, three minute possession, maybe longer now. This Rutgers defense is going to be gassed. Gergar, jump shot save, cursed. And he's out of the cage to scoop up the rebound. Mark it down, 10.09 to go. Fourth quarter, a huge defensive hold for Rutgers and out. You got to support this matchup. Scott against Joyce. There's the slide. Shot saved by Birkinshaw, number 14. As purposeful as the other. Hanley with a rocket. Kirst is there. Save number 15. How good is Colin Kirst? How good is Patrick Birkinshaw? Gergar, right hand. Kirst is there. Didn't have an angle at the question mark attempt. Colin Kirst is always in the right spot. He's always where he should be on the pipes, making those stops. We come up on four minutes to play. Here comes Schultz. Down the alley, there's Kirst. Rebound loose behind the cage. Big ground ball. 104 to go, face-off violation, Rutgers. Shipley. All the way to the cage, who else cursed? He has been the Minotaur at the end of the labyrinth for Rutgers. Over to the wing, Shipley, fire, save, cursed! It'll stay with Penn, not down, 20 seconds and change, and Handley with the ball. The cursed family, Connor, Michelle, there's mom with the glasses, the striped dress, dancing in the background. Her son Colin today, 18 saves, seven in the fourth quarter. We told you early in the game, Colin starts his day with a handcrafted coffee every morning. He and roommate Ross Scott, seven fourth quarter saves, coffee indeed.
is for closers. Kirst heaves it high in the air. Rutgers riding Thunder Road to championship weekend. The Scarlet Knights in the national semifinals for the first time. Today's Capital One player of the game. No surprise, Colin Kirst, 18 saves. And in the fourth quarter, it was Kirst and his play that took the life out of any pen comeback. Mom Michelle, the ultimate lax mom. If Cornell wins tomorrow in Columbus, Ohio, she's going to be the most televised lax mom when yes. we get to the semifinals. Two sons, her son CJ plays for Cornell. Two sons not only at championship weekend, but could be facing off next week in East Hartford. A shooter and a goalie, I mean. head to head. <laughs>